So if you were thinking of getting yourself the Leon Lee 011 Dynamic Evo, and why wouldn't you, because it's an absolutely brilliant case, but had been put off mounting your graphics card in an upright position by the unsightly riser cable running from the motherboard to the graphics card in full display across the front of the case. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. Leon Lee have released an extra long 600mm Gen 4 riser cable to solve this problem. So when the 011 Dynamic Evo first came out, I did a number of builds in it, and I absolutely loved the upright GPU, but the one comment I kept getting was that riser cable looks really, really ugly running across to it, and why didn't I mount it around the back of the motherboard? Well, the big problem was that the riser cable just wasn't long enough. The other side issue for me was that you could either buy the riser cable and bracket in white, or riser cable and bracket in black, but there was no option originally to mix and match. And for me, with a black and white theme build, I would definitely want the bracket in white to match the case, but I think the riser cable in black would actually hide itself better running over the motherboard to the graphics card. Well, now you can have the best of both worlds. You can buy the bracket separately, and now we've got a slightly longer riser cable that we should be able to route around the back of the case. So first thing to do is get rid of this riser cable. So first thing for us to do is pass the riser cable through to the front of the case. We can remove the plastic protection from the riser cable and plug the riser cable into the motherboard. Not really sure why we've got a white sticker on top of it, so we'll go ahead and remove that. So that comes off easy without any residue. At the back we can then pass the riser cable through the cutout. We can line the riser cable up with the graphics card and then pull things into place. and then close the little clip. At the back of the case, we can then use some cable ties to help organize the cable. And then we're gonna be able to install our power supply over the top of the cable. So I think you'll agree, this definitely looks so much cleaner. Um, the black color, I think, blends in well with the motherboard, um, whereas the white blends in nicely with the case. So I've got the best of both worlds here. So I have installed this in the top slot on the graphics card just to show you that this is possible and there wasn't really any difficulty with doing so. Um, the only tip that I would probably recommend is I probably would loosen up the graphics card from the top bracket before plugging the cable in because it was a little bit tricky to plug this cable in. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in the middle socket because this is a Gen 4x16 slot. So I think you'll agree this looks even better. In fact, the riser cable is barely noticeable. Um, and I think that's largely because we've got it in black and it blends in nicely with the motherboard. So well done to Leon Lee. I think you'll agree this looks so much better. So the concept of the upright GPU was a great idea when this case launched. And now with this extra long Gen 4 riser cable, you can have the great looks without any compromises. So the riser cable doesn't seem to be widely available yet. Um, I've got a few links of where you can buy it from Lian Lee, and I'll share those in the description, and I'll try and update them whenever it becomes more widely available. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up, and if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.